Hello, Susanna Cole here from The Good Property Company, and I'm going to be talking to you guys about the importance of getting dressed. Um, no, not that kind of getting dressed. This is all about property and why you should get property dressed. So for renting, which um, we're looking at HMOs, why do we spend so much time getting our properties dressed? Easy. It's because we want no voids. We want our photos to stand out well ahead of everyone else's photos and we want those photos to attract tenants to phone us up to book viewings. It's kind of simple. So if, if you look at the normal landlord photos, they're horrific. They're like stripy mattress, uh, you know, half hung pair of curtains. I mean, that's a hugely attractive place to live, isn't it? So what we do is we spend a lot of time early on when we've just finished an HMO, we get it beautifully dressed, beautifully laid out, beautifully presented. We then, to be fair, take back the candles, the flowers, the duvets and all the rest of it because we don't actually leave the kit with the tenants. But what it means is we've got those photos for the next 10 years. Now I'm going to walk you through a house that we've done and show you physically some of the, the ways that we lay that out so that you too can do the same thing. We also get a professional photographer, and that's also terribly important. I'm no good at photography. Why would I be the best photographer? I'm good at property. And that is a heck of a hassle. But why is it worth it? Because if we put the work up front for the next 10 years, we have one set of photos we reel out every single time, and we stay ahead of every other landlord on any kind of letting portal, and we get the most amount of calls, the most amount of viewings, and we rent the property super fast. So come with me and I'll have a good look at what we've done. So, so we are going to take you through this house and we are going to start in the kitchen. Why are we starting in the kitchen? Because that is where UPAD, who is the uh, advertising portal that we use the most successfully, tells us that most tenants will click on first. So if you're thinking about the order of your photographs in terms of dressing and in terms of how they're going to look online, you want to lead with a kitchen shot then a living room shot and then your bedroom shot. So here we are. My classic bottle of wine. Uh, I am putting that, proper, that bottle of wine into lots of properties before we drink it, only for fun. We have laid the kitchen out as if it was ready to be lived in. So uh, Jess is behind the camera, by the way. So you see the bottle of wine. We've got uh, pots and pans, which suggest that tea is being made. We have a really nice city view out there. And then we've set the table. And we simply set the table in a fairly simple way, but it allows you guys to see how a table could be set, how life could be lived with just a tiny bit of pizzazz. It, it's not over the top. The chairs are from Tesco, the table's from Ikea, the bottle of wine's probably Marks and Spencer's, the pots and pans are Asda, uh, and the lamp back there is Asda. So everything is high street, but it's just laid out rather nicely so that you can understand it's not just a kitchen, but it's a kitchen dining room. Next, I'm going to take you to the living room and then we're going to go upstairs to the bedrooms and we're just going to talk through dressing. 